Hey everyone, Lynette here and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the Buxom Vava Plump um, Shiny Liquid Lipsticks. Now I know the trend of matte lipsticks is still around, but I think in 2018, um, glossier lips or more velvety lips are really um, coming into the forefront now. So I got two colors. This is Tope It Off and Stay The Night. And today I'm going to try Stay The Night. Um, these retail for I believe $20 each. And these are from Buxom. Um, I heard about this from Iman. She's actually the model for this campaign and she is just one of my favorite YouTubers here. So congratulations Iman if you're watching. But like I said, um, I really wanted to try these because it's a shiny liquid lipstick. Um, so on the Buxom website, it says it takes lip color to a whole new level of sexy with lasting bold bombshell color and the tingling tingling lip plumping action that Buxom is famous for. So this does have some tingling. Um, it is to plump up your lips a little bit. So if you are sensitive to that and you've tried um, Buxom's liquid lipsticks, then maybe this not might not be the best product for you. Um, and it doesn't really say how long lasting this lip color is. It just says comfortable lasting wear. Um, and that's about it. I mean, everything's on the Buxom website. So um, it is early in the morning. I'm headed off to work. I did my full face of makeup. And now I think I just wanna try the Stay the Night one, which is the darkest color in the range, I believe. Um, the other one is Make Me Melt, which is more of a brown. This is definitely more of a burgundy shade. And I like the packaging. It's very sleek. And this clear section right here um, is actually the lip color itself. So that's the actual liquid lip color. And it also shows you how much will be left after usage. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up. And... Ooh, it has like a very soft vanilla scent, I would say, like kind of like a MAC. Similar to MAC, but not as like super vanilla, but it does have a vanilla scent. And here is the wand. The wand um, has this like curved, um, what you call it, curved tip or inside to really hug the lips. So that's nice. I've tried these before, the, these types of applicators. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply without any um, lip liner. And we'll see how this goes. Ooh, that is a pretty color. Like, I don't think I have any colors like this. What I can tell you right now, it does have um, that tingly feel and it applies really nicely with this applicator. And this is the color in Stay the Night. This is an absolutely gorgeous color. Um, so this is what it looks like applied. Now it does take a little finessing, um, especially if you're not used to these kinds of doe foot applicators, um, just because I have to shape my lips or my upper lip a little more than uh, my bottom lip because my upper lips are not even. <laughs> this one's actually not as plump as the other side, but it does take a little bit of finessing. Um, the great thing so far, what I could say about this is the color is again beautiful and the formula is really really nice like there's no streaking like this is the darkest color and i didn't experience any streaking with application um and the plumping is not too strong like it's a very light plumping sensation so um that is really nice um i'm gonna wear it throughout the day at work um i know i'm gonna get a lot of comments at work but that's okay <laughs> i'm gonna wear this at work see how long um it's gonna last on my lips um before i need to reapply or anything and then we'll also reapply to see how um it works with the reapplication process so what time is it now? It is 
726. I don't know, you see that 726 in the morning. Um, and I'll probably check back around lunchtime or when I eat lunch. And I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's in about been about 20 minutes since the first application, and so far it looks pretty good. The color is still there, um, the gloss is still there, and it hasn't transferred to my teeth, which is a plus, um, and no transfer on my chin, which is another plus. Um, the one thing I forgot to do was a kiss test after application. Um, so like I said, it's been about 20 minutes. It takes me about 10 minutes to get to work. I'm just parked, so we're gonna go ahead and do a kiss test. And it definitely transfers. So like I said, it didn't claim to be like a non-transferable um, lip color. It said it was lasting, but it didn't mean like long lasting or water resistant or anything like that. So it, it is definitely not kiss proof, um, but it's actually a really pretty color. So I'm going to check back, um, like I said, in the afternoon um, to see how well this color wears. Now I already have a feeling that this is going to stain my lips, so the shine may not um, you know be there as like from first application but um, I have a feeling it's gonna be really good okay guys so this is my checkup I'm in the my work basement but um it is now 2 p.m. and I ate a Caesar salad and had a brownie and so as you can see it did start to feather on the top again i'm not wearing any um lip liner so that might help and also the inside of my lips has um, faded but overall the lips um, the lipstick itself has stained my lips so it's not bad it looks more like a blotted lip so i am going to reapply and see how that goes so so far so good on the lipstick um, I will check back at the end of the night. All right, everyone, it is the end of the work week. It is now 4.43 p.m. Um, and so far, my lips look great. I had reapplied once today, and it, all it took was one single layer. Um, it didn't bunch up the previous color that I had on this morning. Um, and it didn't emphasize any of my dry skin. Um, I also scrubbed the night before, so just keep in mind that if you are gonna be using any type of liquid lipsticks or any kind of lipsticks, you wanna be scrubbing your lips the night before or the day of, um, just to get any of that excess dry skin out of the way. And yeah, I absolutely like this um, liquid lipstick. So. Things that I noticed throughout the day are the shine does go away after you blot or pat or um, after you eat. So the shine goes away, but the color is still there. Um, it does stain your lips. It does like, you know, like normal lipstick, it'll start to fade in the middle of the lips. And then after that, if you do reapplication, you're good. Um, the tingling feeling isn't so tingling like it feels on me it feels more like a cooling effect on my lips um, and let's see what else like I absolutely love the color um, cons I would think not really a con but um, when you are going to be applying this lipstick you do want to use a lip pencil um, to avoid any feathering because I did notice very minor feathering around um, the top and then just a little bit on the bottom, but nothing too crazy. Um, there wasn't any transfer onto my teeth or on the bottom of my chin because I know a lot of people get that. Um, let's see, and that's it. Like, I really like <laughs> this product. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off this shade. This one is Stay the Night. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off and I'm gonna try and swatch, try on and swatch the top it off um, Buxom Vava Plump. So we're gonna see how hard it is to remove this lipstick. Again, I'm using the MAC Cleanse Off Oil on a cotton pad. I'm going in with the makeup wipe. This is not pretty. Okay, so I removed most of the color off. Um, I'm not gonna do lip liner or anything like that. I'm just gonna swatch this other one. And let's go ahead. This one is a really pretty color. It, it really um, caught my attention because I really am into these types of colors. It's the more nude, 
pink mauve type of shade. So I hope this looks good on my lips. Um, all I did was, after I took off the previous lipstick, I put a little EOS lip balm and blotted. And this shade is very pretty. This one again is Taupe It Off. And it applied the same way, the formula is the same, scent is the same, plumping um, is very light, more like a cooling effect, and very opaque coverage. Um, I love the shine. It's not too shiny. It's more like, um, like a shinier version of a velvet, but not shinier than a gloss, if that makes any sense. So these are amazing lip products. I highly recommend you guys pick these up. I got mine at Ulta for $20 each. Um, there are, I believe, 13 different shades. And yeah, so definitely head to your Ulta or Sephora and try these out. So if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And if you've tried this product or thinking of buying it, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I respond to all my comments. And yeah, so if you love this video also, please share. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and God bless.